well, egos are, are the middle name, and they sh and that should be, or they wouldn't be performers. They, they have to have that, that fear and that need to feed the ego, and the fear of, of failure. They're in front of the people, not me. I'm back there. The director's in there. They are on camera, and the audience will judge them. So they are very concerned about how they look, how they feel, how they, how they look is one of them. And that's where I come in. Part of my job is not only to know how to help them look good, where to put the light on this one, where to put the light on that, how much backlight to use on that one, how much, all those techniques that I've learned all my life. But it's to get across the point to the talent that I'm here for you, I will help you to look as perfect as you can, or you look great, I wouldn't change a thing. May I suggest you put your hair back a little bit? May I, could you consider a little more lipstick? Could, how about, oh, if, do you have anything but, instead of that white blouse, do you have a, a pastel color? I think it'll look better on camera. Things like that. All done with that care, bedside manner, if you will, that is crucial to them being comfortable. And if they're comfortable on camera, they look better. Why? Because they feel better. Bingo. So the amount of care that it takes to deal with the director is one thing. To deal with the crew is another thing. We're all talking people here, not lights the amount of care to the uh, actors, the talent. Crucial, crucial element in my life. And I don't care whether it's a, an on-camera talent for the late news or for a dramatic show or name it, or a musical, it doesn't matter. They all need that, and I say this respectfully, care and feeding hand-holding, and that's not funny. I want them to, I want to hold their hand. That's part of my job.